Are you suffering from dry skin and is it bothering you? If so, I have seven reasons why your skin could be dry and what you can do about it. Hi, my name is Abby. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist, the founder of Eczema Conquerors, and the host of the Eczema podcast as well that I've been hosting for the last seven years. If you want over a hundred episodes and seven years of content, head to your Spotify or podcast player to check them out. Now, I want to address why your skin can be dry. I can honestly say that after working with eczema and topical steroid withdrawal clients on a daily basis, here are seven patterns that I've noticed. Number one, the big reason why your skin can be dry could be due to a low thyroid or a thyroid that is out of balance. If your thyroid levels are out of balance, it can affect a wide range of things and it can even affect your gut health as well. Your thyroid levels help to control your metabolism, your energy levels, and when your thyroid levels are off, it can actually slow down your body if you are experiencing hypothyroidism. If you're experiencing hyperthyroidism, that would do the opposite. In the case of hypothyroidism, it can slow down everything, including your metabolism, your energy, your digestion, which can in turn cause dry skin, it can cause low mood, it can cause insomnia and constipation as well. We recently worked with a client who didn't realize that her thyroid levels were incredibly off the charts. Usually we like our TSH levels to be between 1 to 2 in a functional range and regular conventional doctors can accept a range within 1 to 5 but hers were all the way at nine and she was experiencing a lot of symptoms that were causing her to prevent her skin from healing and it was contributing to the dry skin as well. I myself have personally been working on my thyroid levels for many, many years. I first discovered that my thyroid levels were out of balance in my 20s and I've been working on it ever since before I got pregnant and I actually take a thyroid supplement to help with my skin and to help my thyroid levels and I've been taking blood tests regularly because I always appreciate checking what my levels are at and when I do get a blood test I am able to tell when my thyroid levels are on or off and I do notice that when my thyroid levels are in check and in balance my skin feels less dry as well. Be sure to check your thyroid levels. We work with so many women who don't realize that they actually have thyroid symptoms. Be sure to ask for a full thyroid panel when you're getting your blood tested from your doctor. The second reason for dry skin can be due to low iron. Iron levels are something we commonly see as deficient in our clients. Low iron is actually linked to dry skin as well. When we have lower iron, our body isn't able to deliver oxygen and nutrients as effectively to the rest of our body. And because it can affect the circulation, it can cause parts of our body to feel colder than usual, but it can also cause our skin to feel drier as well. I've heard of clients who have had iron transfusions and after they had the transfusions, their skin actually got a lot better. I've actually heard of cases where moms even uh, did a blood test for their child and they found that they had iron deficiency and when they gave them an iron supplement, their child's skin cleared up. Iron definitely has a big link with the health of your skin. Be sure to look into iron levels. This is why taking a blood test is helpful, especially if you're working with a functional practitioner or even a naturopath who's able to guide you to do this. Now the third reason why your skin can be dry is due to a lack of water. This one is the, one of the simplest things that we can do at home but lack of water can definitely affect how hydrated the rest of our body is. You can tell how hydrated you are by just looking at the color of your urine. Make sure that it's not a dark color. Aim for it to be a pale yellow to a clear color and that will let you know that you're more hydrated. Number four, a lack of good fats. 
We see this so commonly. If you're hydrated and your skin is still dry, then one reason for the dry skin could potentially be due to a lack of good fats. Good fats are incredibly important, especially if you suffer from eczema or topical steroid withdrawal, because good fats like omega-3s and omega-6 actually has a helpful function for your body. Not only does it nourish your skin, but it can help to lower inflammation, build up your immunity, and help with your cognitive function as well. It went on the medical medium diet and I was testing it out. My fat levels were so low that I was going through so much inflammation because of it. I started losing my memory but the good fats are actually helpful for your skin as well. Be sure to check out good sources of omega-3s and omega-6s as well. Check out omega-3s that can be found in things like fish oil and cod liver oil. And omega-6s can be found in things like evening primrose oil, flaxseed oil, hemp seed oil. Those are all great for your skin. I find that some people do better on certain oils than other. Other oils, find which one works better for you, but many of our clients do well with hemp seed oil. And that's not to be mistaken with hemp oil because those are two different things. If you want to try, you can, you can try taking two tablespoons of hemp seed oil a day and see if it helps your skin. In society these days, a lot of our oils tend to be higher in omega-6, which can lead to inflammation if we have too much of it. Make sure to balance it out with your healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Number five for why your skin could be dry. The reason why your skin could be dry is due to insufficient electrolytes. Electrolytes really help to balance out the sodium to potassium ratio in your body and insufficient electrolytes can lead your skin to feel more dehydrated. Electrolytes help your skin to retain water better and we often find that many of our clients cannot retain water that well. They actually often feel very dehydrated, very thirsty, especially when they're drinking lots of water throughout the day. I've noticed that they aren't able to hold on to that water. And in some cases, electrolytes can really help, especially if you help to balance it out. I personally have taken electrolytes from the Body Bio brand and I really like it. I have found that when my stress levels are high, especially when I've gone through a long-term chronic stress, it's really taxed my adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are two glands inside your body that really help you to cope with stress and they help with your energy levels. When I've gone through chronic stress and my adrenal glands were taxed, it really affected my cortisol levels, which in turn affected my body's ability to create sufficient electrolytes to nourish my skin and make it feel more hydrated. And this is important because when your adrenal glands are out of balance, this can also affect the rest of your body. We want to make sure that we, are, that we have sufficient amount of electrolytes in our body. A skin barrier that's damaged can allow more infections to come in, more bacteria, and that can lead to flare-ups, especially if your skin barrier is broken and you're prone to staph aureus infections, which I was for a very long time. So I love that we're touching upon this topic on reasons why your skin could be dry, that we can address it and help you to help your skin become more nourished. Now I want to talk about another possible reason why your skin could be dry. One of the reasons is due to a lack of good bile. Now you might be wondering, what is bile? Bile is stored in your gallbladder and it helps you with the digestion of fats when you're eating a fatty meal or eating fats in general. Helpful because it also helps with the removal of toxins from your body and it also helps to neutralize them as well. And bile is incredibly important for those who have had their gallbladder removed. That is why they can have more difficulty with digesting fats. And in some cases, taking a digestive enzyme that can help with digesting fats can be very helpful. When your body's not able to digest fats very well, it can show up as dry skin, stools that float, or even stools that smell. Also, there are supplements out there and different herbs out there that can actually help you 
promote better bile flow to help with your digestion. Once we correct the bile and help to support it, a lot of times we can help with supporting the skin health and skin hydration as well. And lastly, one huge reason why your skin can be dry is due to inflammation. This one is huge and maybe one of the biggest ones that can be causing your skin dryness. Inflammation can be caused by so many things, but a lot of the reasons I just mentioned can also cause a trickle-down effect and affect our inflammation and how well our body is handling inflammation. Inflammation can also be caused by things like pathogens in your body, parasites, gut infections, viruses that you may have picked up. So many things can contribute to inflammation in your body. For example, even gut dysbiosis where there's an imbalance of good bacteria and bad bacteria. And also things like H. pylori, other hidden infections like E. coli, which I've also seen on GI map gut tests before and there can be many things that can be causing inflammation. That is why it is important to do thorough testing to figure out what could be causing your skin to flare and what could be causing the inflammation as well. A lot of times we can also work on boosting your immune system and at the same time helping any infections, any fungal overgrowth, any candida, any overgrowth of bacteria, any parasites. There are so many things we can work on and at the same time while those things are removed we start to replace your body with good bacteria and the inflammation can start to come down. When the inflammation starts to come down, your skin can start to feel more hydrated. I remember at one point on my healing journey, my skin was inflamed that I had to moisturize my skin every few minutes, at times even every hour. And at that time I was breaking down because it seemed unmanageable and I remember wondering if my skin would ever heal and get better. Uh, thankfully, it has a lot these days and you can see I still have some scarring along my neck and other parts of my skin but it has gotten much better. But the more we can remove and reduce inflammation, the more it will help. I also once wondered if my face would return back to normal because my face was so dry, tight, it felt like it lost all the moisture in it that I wasn't, wasn't sure if it would ever go back to normal. And I just want to give you hope today that if you're going through this, it definitely can. And make sure to work on those drainage pathways, boost your immune system, try all the techniques that I share to help with increasing your skin hydration. A lot of times you might also have to work with the guidance of a health practitioner to help you assess what might be the missing piece and also help you get through this. And it can be complex even when we're working with our own clients. There are so many pieces to the puzzle. If you'd like to learn how you can work with myself and my team, simply book a complimentary breakthrough call in the link in the description and you can book that call with our team and we'd be happy to share with you how we can help your skin get better. I hope this really helps you today and as always remember that nothing that was shared today is medical advice and be sure to check with your health practitioner for the proper medical advice that is customized for you and your situation. I know that you can get through this and I hope you have a great day.